Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm Jake and I'm joined by Brad. Yo! Hosmer. Yes, I'm there. And, <laughs> and Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. Um, so, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I don't really bother <laughs> asking you, Brad, unless you have anything to remark on. He came to Locals tonight. Wasn't a Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals, but <laughs> he yep. was there. There was not a Yu-Gi-Oh! card to be seen. Except for the, like way too many packs of thingo that I bought which at the time I regretted but now I realise that I've paid more bills than I thought so I'm actually okay it's fine <laughs> there, was a time, box. <laughs> there was a time last week that I had looked at Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I'd gone oh yeah maybe but then it wasn't look this man's making prank kids work I think you need to pick up a deck that you like and win or lose play some games prank kids is probably the best deck in the deck for, in the format right now that's not dragon made it's not about the decks it's about Yu-Gi-Oh <sighs> How was your week? <laughs> I played Prank Kid and I went fine. Went whoop, whoop. Fine and dandy. Went X1. Um, lost to Shittles because I put my um, Battle Butler in the center column and not in one of the two zones on the side. Wait, why, why did that matter? What did they do? Uh, so he, I knew Jasper had an Alistair in hand. Yeah. And I already had the Battle Butler on board and I was like, if it's here, I just go normal summon. Make the link two pointing down to the battle butler, and the Alistair can't make the window big enough because it gains a thousand under the link two. Okay, yeah, I was not aware that was a thing that they did. Yeah, the yeah. other link two buffs them for a thousand. Mm-hmm. The one that but only also if they're pointing. Them. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay, that was something that yeah, it's just never come up in that deck before, so I didn't yeah. know. I was like, okay, hmm. yes, placements be important. This would be perfect if. I just had not put it in the centre column. Yeah, you didn't think too far ahead there. I did not. Now, my week, I'm going to take up Lock, uh, yeah, Lachlan's position and uh, rant about things that are Fuck written. Winder. Welcome no. to the Fuck Winder podcast. I'm no, here I with d- Bragg. I didn't, I didn't have to verse any Shadol. So, as I stated, at, I think towards like the middle of this month when we're doing podcasts first without Lachlan here, I said that this would be McKnight in April. And that the <clears throat> channel would be awash with McKnight profiles. Mm. However, McKnights have broken my brain. I tried a pure deck. It was bad. And I expected it to be bad. That was fine. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be as bad as it was. Like, I lost a pure Sky Striker for fuck's sake, which used to be, like, the freest of free. I did not win that at all. Um, and then I went back to an old favourite of mine, McKnight Orchest, and that was horrendous. It was so fucking bad. It did nothing. And I've decided to put Orcus away, and to an extent, McKnight's away for some time. Well, there's no more 20s in McKnight Maple, so it's fine. Maple's yeah, no, over. The, yeah, Maple is over. So, yeah. I'll have to find another M theme deck for May. You'll have to, yeah, so you have to wait for another Maggot made M-theme. May. <laughs> you have to wait till December, Ben. Rank Kids May. Mank Kids. I haven't seen Mank. I heard it was good. Mix Mamurai and MFTK. <laughs> I don't like the way this is going so far. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so long story short, you won't be getting any Mech Knight profiles for some time. Um, I will try and find something more interesting because, um, yeah, Invoked Dogmatica is kind of all over the place in terms of content. Like, you can find 15 billion profiles with like for the most part the same cards and that's just on our channel are you playing three invocation Mm -hmm. or two invocation you always play three you can't be those are the options I only ever played two that's because I only had two (laughs) (laughs) I definitely didn't play play... one for a very long time (laughs) I only played one foolish burial (laughs) yeah um yeah, so on to some news. Uh, so, uh, I think it was about a week or so ago, we got confirmed reprints for the Ancient Guardian set. So, um, I have made an error in that I pulled up the picture, but I don't know what half of these cards are actually Snake called. Snake Rain! So, yeah, obviously, like, we are pretty confident that Snake Rain was going to be there, and it is, so great. Uh, snakes can do their thing. We also got the... Uh, King Venom and Queen Venom things, uh, Venominaga and um, whatever they're called. We got those two. That one's getting really expensive. Yeah, and for reasons that really weren't justified, like that engine is absolutely garbage. It's just simply a meme. Yeah, kind of. Um, 
a couple of really good reprints that we got out of here too. Like there's a bunch of pendulum support, like Ignista Prominence and uh, Draco, the like Dynamist fusion thing that Dynamist don't use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. They got reprints because they were super old. Dynamist. Oh, uh, and the Xe actually the Draco uh, Slayer. Yeah, the Dino, Draco. Dynasty yeah, Elf. all the Draco Slayers pretty much got reprints. Um, you've got all the extra ones plus uh, Master Pendulum, um, Skullmeister, a like pretty relevant hand trap in the current meta. I've got a reprint as well. Probably which is, going to be a Collector's Rare, which would be really nice. Like, it would be really nice if we got that in a Collector's Rare. Um, Pancratops is also in as a reprint. If so that's not a that, Collector's Rare. That should you be. Don't... No, you reckon? No, if that's not a collector's rare. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon it probably will be. And it's not too bad, because you just need one. Like, if the Skullmaster yeah. got one, you'd want three to complete the set. But for the moment, you'd be okay with getting one Pankratops. If Pank is a collector's rare, I'm probably going to pick it up. Um, yes. Another card I could see as a collector's rare is Pot of Riches. Not because it deserves one at all. The card's garbage. Yeah. But because it's a pot card. And they'll... Yeah. Yeah. It already and then... has a secret rare. Yeah, but that's all it has. Yeah. Like, it's had... I think it's legitimately had one printing. So, like, outside of a collector's rare or not, it's good that we got a reprint of it. Yeah. So, if you want to run a garbage card in your garbage pendulum deck, you have the option to without having to go back, like, seven years in sets. Um, collector's rare trading? Yeah. I was thinking that. That could be a really good one. Considering they're doing... But we're past trading being... Well, we are way past peak trading. Oh, right. yeah. Well, that just means that you're a... Third rate jewels with a fourth rate deck. True. I'm a no rate jewels with a no rate deck. Thank you very much. <laughs> See, this is why you should come into locals. Just come into your first round, verse one of the trash kids, win, and then drop. <laughs> 100% success rate there's for one, the year. <laughs> there's only one place I'm coming in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> You're filthy. <laughs> filthy. Um. And then a couple other ones like Wavering Eyes, um, Ignista Reload, is it? Will Will Harry commit to buying all Collectors Wear Wavering Eyes? Collectors Wear? Yeah, whatever. Collectors Wear Wavering Eyes? <laughs> I play Wavering Eyes, ooh-woo. I destroy my pendulum. Oh, God, he even whacked the ooh-woo in there. <laughs> Jesus. Look, the moment called for it. Um, Ezrock Sunrise as well. All the Sunrise. Yeah. yeah it's are, weird. Are, are they ever going to have the... the... <laughs> That's the thing, Yu-Gi-Oh is so low on the radar for the indigenous community that they probably don't know, and even if they do, they probably don't care. That's named after the airport. <laughs> is it still called... Is, mm. is, there an actual, is there an area there called Air? Well, Lake Air. Lake Air, ah, oh, okay. But it's spelled differently, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. That's dumb. Yep. Well, it's named after the bloke. So what's Air's rock named after? The bloke. The bloke. What's Air named after? A different bloke. Named Air. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this country's retarded. <laughs> but also we handle COVID fine, so that's okay. Um, yeah, of the ones that I know what they are based on artwork, I think the reprints are pretty good. <laughs> There's some galaxy thing in there that I have no idea what it is. Damage equals reptile. Did I have oh, dream yeah, that Wall yeah. of Reeling Light was in this? Yeah, or was I that know. reprinted or something else? You, yeah, right. Yeah, where's it? Where's that wall of revealing yeah, light? Indeed, it's on the ban list still, isn't it? Yeah, it's at one. Did did I just did I just dream wall of revealing light being announced as a reprint? We were talking about it for that weird OCG FTK or Chainburn deck. Ah, oh, must have been that. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think that's been mentioned anywhere. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's super weird that it's come up. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, oh, cool. So it was a dream. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um. One thing I did notice about these reprints is that you've got pendulum support, you've got reptile support, but there's no water reprints at all. Oh yeah. And I forgot what the water archetype was. Oh, it's Arctic. Arctic. And they like they definitely need an engine other than themselves to work because you just lose t- way too many resources just trying to make it pure. Why must the powers of water? Collectors wrote right, Umi. Confirmed. So don't you shake your fist at me? So I don't know if this means that maybe Earth Arctic may get support in later sets. Like yeah. maybe they continue that one on more just because it does need more help. But I feel like that means that the people that want to play that have to go back a long time to find Mermails and 
Atlanteans. Because Atlanteans, at least, which is sort of like Mermaids Atlanteans go together, the Atlantean component of, the, of those cards haven't been reprinted for years. Like, the Mermaids yeah. all did, but none of the um, other ones did. So, like, you'd have to get the... Um, basically, the structure deck stuff to make it work. And that's, what, 10 years old? More? Yeah. I own it, so it's not my problem. Good for you, Ben. <laughs> Um, so yeah, sucks to be you if you're wanting to play Earth Arctic. But if you want to play Snakes, come and see me in the Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. <laughs> um, and then we had some, uh, results from some recent extravaganzas. Yes, so I'll be taking you through that. So we had, uh, from one of the Remote Door Extravaganzas' main, main event, uh, there were 54 players. Uh, nine Eldritch players, six Dragon Link, uh, four Shidol, three Dino, uh, two Phantom Knight, two Drytron, two Virtual World, two Advanced Peter, two Infinitrack, two Altergeist, two Zombies, ah. and 18 others. Uh, making it through to the top eight in order of first through to eighth. Uh, first place was Drytron Megalith Vendred. Second mm-hmm. place oh. was Mech Knight for Mech Knight Maple. Yeah. Uh, third place was Eldritch. Fourth place, Eldritch Zoo. Uh, fifth and sixth were Dragon Link. Uh, seventh was Dragon Link Buster Blader. And eighth was Paleozoic. Interesting. So, someone did send me that Mech, Light, Mech Knight list. I think it purely won on two factors. One, it was going second in a meta where everyone else wants to go first. So, fantastic. Like, it was meaning Kaijus, Lightning Storms, all kinds of shit to, like, out the board. And then the other thing is, too, it sort of had its side built up for, okay, they're going to make me go first because, quote-unquote, Mech Knights can't go first. Mm. And it just had, like, like a whole bunch of, like, heavy impact hand traps and Waking the Dragons in the side. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. So just set a bunch of cards thinking that, like, you're... Your opponent thinks you're bricked, and then all of a sudden you're looking at like a Jagoon or something. And it's just like, oh no. <laughs> scary times are scary. What the hell was that um, Paleo um, player playing? Uh, I can show Paleo. you this if you'd like. Yeah. Well, what's giving it the, the leg up? So, the prisons, maybe? <sighs> nah. No, I think one thing that would probably. Help Wait, yeah, you're not doing is, that. Um, playing Dragoon. <laughs> Ah, ah. <laughs> That's uh, effectively it. It's prosperity plus. Dragoon. Yeah, I was about. I was literally about to say prosperity would help that deck immensely. Like being able to search for the toad that you didn't open. Yeah, yeah it, it literally the list is just prosperities. Yep. and dragoon. Three dragoon. Uh just one dragoon, but multiple red eyes fusions. Because I'm assuming you just discard them off the dynamiscus. Yeah. Not bad. I don't hate it. So, Red eyes inside, no buying chance? Ah, uh, no. No insights. Oh, so just hard open it. <laughs> oh, you just... Uh, it's playing... You, instead of making a toad, you just make a birthday. Yeah, there's that too. Jesus so Christ. <laughs> Wait. Is it... Nothing oh, with the, with the... Why, so it still has a frog engine? Yeah, it still has a frog yeah, engine. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'll, I'll make Dragoon on turn three. <laughs> so, although you can just turn a trap into a... Uh, uh, Link spider. spider. Yeah. And then away you go. Um, yeah. Other than that, Interesting results. We Ooh. did have uh, the UK Island extravaganza. I have the top 16 for that. That was three Tri Brigade, so a little bit more dominated by that. Uh, two Eldritch, one Pure One Zoo, uh, two Dragon Link, one Virtual World, one Medolce, one Cyber Dragon, one Shadol Invoked, Dogmatica, um, one Chaos, one Prankin, one Grimmaju, one Salamane Great, which was not Josh, and one Crusadia. I believe this was won by the Crusadia player. Interesting. These goddamn remote jewels, man. They're such a clusterfuck. Yeah, kind of. Just make a good dueling engine like you got the fuck. Like... Also, why don't we get anything? I apologize, it wasn't won by the Crusadia. <laughs> was it one of the Tribal Gates? Uh, it was won by Eldritch Zoo. Ah, oh, okay. Fuck, I hate that deck. It's so fucking brain dead. Yeah. It's just like, oh, attack with Bulbo, make a seven material Zeus. Like, and maybe there is something in these results that Tri Brigade is like 
good. Okay, so the only thing <laughs> that Tri Brigade had... The, but the thing is, the only thing it has going for it turn one is like, oh, I, I play a Floodgate and I have a card in there, which means you have to kill it twice. That's all it does. Yeah. It's just... Uh, like, uh, I mean, whether or not they're cheating or not is the other question. Yeah, look, that There's, is a factor. <laughs> I do no think accusations it's here. Like one of the best decks in the format. Yeah, I'm curious. I, I just wish they had streamlined this and maybe switched to an online platform or like just it's, something else. We've I, discussed it in the past though. Yeah. Like that, it's effectively killed Magic at the moment. Like for us, like no one shows up to Magic anymore because the online simulator is there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. what's the point of going to physical location? They just like encompass the entire play base like rather than the fucking bullshit yeah. that they're doing at the moment where it's like no nah, just just the top half you guys just have the top half of the world you guys have locals you can just go to that uh, yeah but then it becomes like oh the stores have to then put in a lot more energy and time and resources into keeping their player base interested in the game by running their own tournaments and shit so, like, you can throw out a mat and, like, fucking field centres here and there, but, like, there needs to be more done for the parts of the globe where you don't feel like running an extravaganza. I yeah. want Oceanics. Like, yeah. we can go to New Zealand now. Let's have an Oceanics. They probably... Actually, let's just do Nation v Nation. Let's just do Australia versus New Zealand in something. You know how that's going to go cross Tasman fucking thing. Brought to you by Nolan TCG. <laughs> hmm. I mean, sure. If you want to organise flights in the comm for the... Australians would go over? Ah, uh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> so, last event was uh, the German event. Uh, so this one has had a very good player base. Uh, dominated by Prunken. Oh, Prunken, yes. Uh, three Prunken players made top 16. Uh, three virtual world players. Bragg is shaking his head for the listeners, by the way. Every time that Ben's read out results, Bragg is like increasingly shaking <laughs> his head. Uh, then two Dragon Link, two Subterra, one Math Mech, one Eldritch, one Tri Brigade Lyrilusk, one Mystic Mind Burn, Cunt. one Geist, one Zoo. There is. Okay. The Australian meta gets shit on a lot for, like, its heavy control. There were way too many fucking heavy control decks in there. What was there? Mystic Mind Burn, two Sub Terror, and Alter Geist. Uh, yes, plus, I guess, Eldritch. And Zoo was probably also Eldritch. I, I, yeah. Don't um, be putting shit on Australians anymore. That was bad. That's bad. Yeah. Fuck was this? I agree. This virtual world list is like all over the fucking shop. That's the thing. It's just, oh, come on. I don't there understand why people something. are persevering with virtual world. That deck died the second the VFD left. He's somehow making a Kelly Why are that people more dedicated Kelly. to virtual than they are to the, the Fire Warriors? Invaluable. That's the name. Well, that's the thing. Like, Luke from our locals went second place at a tournament with that deck. And I versed it. Like, I was versing with a bad deck, to be fair. But I versed it on Tuesday. And it's at that point where... Do you remember when Ad Emancipator was at its peak? Mm. Like, basically before Block Dragon died. Um, and it would put up a board state where you'd basically go, okay, you can Nibiru me now. And then I do the rest of my combo and still set up a board. Yeah. Or I set up Appalooza and then I do my combo and make up the rest of the board. Yeah. That's what that's what that deck doing right now. If you don't open any responses or if you open limited responses, that's what it does. Set up Appalooza and the other board, which is like Savage, possibly the level nine negatey thing, and Herald, and a fog blade set as well, so that if you go to punch over the Herald to then play they're just like, no. Yeah. It's really, really weird in the sense that, like, that deck does its whole combo without using Needle Fiber. And then the moment you Nibiru them, they're like, I'm just going to use the Needle Fiber and do the full combo. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they just summon back the fucking so, zombie. And so they're, they're persevering more than the virtual worlds. But yeah, the virtual world's the only one turning up in these extravagances. I simply think it's just representation that people had virtual world before and they're like, I'm playing virtual world now, whereas people abandoned Infernoble a long time ago and they just 
haven't can be yeah I yeah I think that's part of it as well plus like the info noble stuff is I suppose somewhat harder to get in that it was split up into two different sets plus you needed older warrior stuff to go into it whereas yeah. you could for the most part get 90% of what you need for virtual <coughs> world out of the box yeah. you also can't just go and buy Toon Chaos anymore yeah there is that actually yeah like for the first end stuff that came out of Toon Chaos it cost you a fair I deal. wonder how items are going overseas if they're turning up everywhere because like, they're everywhere for us now they're all sold out for us now. Oh, really? Because like, I They're still see him... Jade still has several. Oh, he says it? Okay. Yeah. Controls the market. I could <laughs> swear I've no seen them in EBs. Because <laughs> they're unlimited. Because I, 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 yeah, I look at the EB ones and go, no, not first ed. Just wondering what we'll sneak in. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you'd struggle to find first eds nowadays. First ed was the stat. It's like so short of print run. I should have kept that box sealed. It's, it's uh, one of those hindsight things. Like no one Oh, no, at the time, at the time, like, I knew it, but I just still wanted to crack it for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had actively gone, I'm probably Was that where you here. got your collector's rare gear free? No. Someone got the collector's rare gear free, didn't they? I, I the... didn't realise that they pulled it. Uh, Logan. Logan. But then I own that now. Yes. Oh, shit, actually, I owe someone money. <laughs> if you owe Logan money, <laughs> it means you owe me money. No. <laughs> Yeah, if you're lo- listening, Logan, which I know you're not, come into locals and pay your debts. Well, um, how do you reckon? Is that why he's dodging? Yes. Dad, he has a girlfriend at the moment, so. Dad isn't sexy, kids. Don't do it. Well, maybe do it. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Boost your credit rating. Yes. I've got some money for you. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that quickest a, the, <laughs> that was a real journey for the, the thumbnail of tonight's podcast is uh, brag is a loan shark yeah. <laughs> for, for half a second I was a loan shark and then I realised I'm Wait, not in that business it's, it's like I'm a loan shark so I did touch on it briefly I guess is like the differences in meta but like where do we in quoted things because brag's like almost I have opinions yeah I'm sure you do Um, where do we think the meta is at the moment like if you had to sort of place the top three decks of the current format what would you say what do you think well it's Dragon Maid (laughs) and it's Franken what do you really think that's what I really think no no we're in a tier zero format and no one knows it (laughs) If that oh, if that was the case, I'm I'm replaying me saying Dragon Maids are gonna like are gonna be good and people shitting on me. Dragon Maids are very good. They are they're good. It just has a stigma against So it. you you don't think Dragon Link's better than Dragon Maid though? No, Dragon Link loses too many hand drafts. Dragon Maid still kills people on turn three. Like Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. So you're you saying, just, so you're you just saying just hand traps are bad. Opponent. Okay, so here's the thing about Dragon Maid. It's not actually that good. let me finish the reason that you win games is four letters here we go TLDR people don't read them they don't know what they do I was sitting here like Bona doesn't have four letters yeah (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Bona so I I like how I like how we're both on the same same thing of like the opponent loses all blood from their brain yes therefore That's uh, so fucked up. <laughs> oh, God. Um, no, it's it's the same reason why I won with Metaphors. It's the same reason I won with, like, fucking Mech Knights when they weren't bricky pieces of shit. Is people don't read them. They assume that they're fine. And then all of a sudden things aren't fine. We're in a format at the moment where people aren't, like... Remember, do you remember back in, say, like, Zoo format, when you won the game outside of the battle phase? When you yeah. outgrind your opponent's resources, they have nothing left, you poke. You stop whatever they put out, you poke. Nowadays, it's like, I need to start attacking over your shit. They enter the battle phase, and you're like, I win. And you're like, how the fuck do you win? Like, this all come back. This big now. <laughs> I win. <laughs> yes. However... As I was saying, I feel like this is because they're not reading what your cards do. Battle phase. <laughs> yes, they're not <laughs> reading that because they're ignoring the fact that the battle phase for your deck matters. Yeah. Can we replay the part where Jake says the battle phase doesn't matter? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. 
it doesn't matter for most other people it only matters for you it's great it's great i can't wait to travel to another event and do very well again can we replay the part where I say that and I do really badly next time? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, I'll, I will keep this okay. it's locked up in here. Don't but worry. Honestly, I, I'd probably say it's Prankid is the best deck in the format right now. <laughs> that, oh. This is again a very like, genuine thing. Like It's a meta deck that can play 15 hand traps. You have 15 cards of variance in that list. You can play Floodgates. You can play hand traps. It doesn't matter. Good players pilot it well. Like you, it's one card engines, and you can play fifteen hand traps. So in that case, why is it like? Because it's not like people aren't aware of prank kids. Like prank kids was meta back when Thunder Dragons was in the fray. So why is it that you think that prank kids isn't getting played as much as say Dragon Link, which is a far more expensive deck, or Shadol, or Zoo? I would, I would argue it's getting played more than like Shadol, but simply the the power and end board that Dragon Link puts out is something that's just not really like people look at and go this does big end board, I'm going to play this. What about Dinos? Fuck them. <laughs> I haven't actually seen much representation from Dinos. Probably because Lancey is so popular at the moment. Yeah, Lancey is a big card in sides and to, to an extent main decks at the moment so any deck that like heavy banishes just loses hard I think the big thing with Dino is like they need to draw Gamma to play through that and even then if people don't like monkey brain it and drop Lancia at the right time then the Gamma is meaningless yeah like I'd probably go Prank It is the best deck in the format then second place is kind of a bit open like there's a there's a lot of things that can just kind of rise up and it comes down to deck building and luck. Dinos, dolls, dragons. Yeah. If, if like me putting my places in, I would have to say that Shadol is probably one of the higher up decks. I, I forgot about Tribrigade. Yeah, no, I'd say like Tribrigade's probably the second best of the format. Yeah. What do I know? It has been a while since you played. It has been a while. <laughs> Try it's very good. Remember when it was bad when you were playing? I remember, like, and I don't know if this has been recorded on a podcast, but I remember you saying that Trivagate is the worst thing that's ever happened. Me? Yeah. You definitely took, it's like, a worst ma- thing ever You happened. took a massive dump on that deck. Like, we both did, because yeah. there wasn't anything out that really exploited it, and then it was like, oh, Barry if I just summon Bird and then summon Statue with Bird. Let us know in the comments what you think the best deck is. Yes, um, please do that. Jump we, in the Discord or jump in the comments and let us know what you think the best three decks of the format are. Then we can debate next week. Where I'll be in the audience. Yeah. Oh, no. Definitely. Oh, no. We've yeah. Had lock, we've had Locked Off a podcast for a month and we're starting back with a debate involving almost definitely Shadol. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Welcome back to episode two of the Fuck Window podcast. I'm here with <laughs> I like window. Yeah, so do I, but that's because I use it. I'm just indifferent to it, you know? Well, yeah. Look, I have cards that out it. So I'm okay. I only hate dinos. Yeah, I don't like dinos. I have never have. Neither have I. Not since Lithosagem, pop two babies, banish all your good extra deck shit, and yeah. then get pluses off of it. See, that's what Not I like, Dinos. <laughs> There's that, that's the, yeah, everything else I'm just like, oh yeah, that's cool. You do you. Just go, oh yeah, you, you've, you've done well there. You've set up your floodgate. That's that's how you play the game. Cool. I won't have a bar of Dinos. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Oh, we didn't, um, and uh, Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to episode one of the Normal Summon Alistair podcast. I'm with Jake. <laughs> so... And I've said this multiple times. Real life chat podcast. Normal summon Alistair, we know. No. Alistair is not your problem. Because the thing is, if I just played Invoked, like just played Invoked, Ben knows this all too well, like, and just put a fuck ton of hand traps, the deck does not work. It needs other engines. And the other engines determine how good the deck is. 
Invoke Mech Knight was good at the time because it supplemented the deck by giving it line types to make Macabre and giving it other beefy bodies that both thin the deck and put pressure on the opponent. Does your, does your deck need its normal summon? No, yeah. play Mech Knight. Oh, I'm playing Vex. Do not, do not play Mech Knight if you don't need a normal summon. Ah, Gisu. <laughs> um, I just didn't know he was that kinky. Yeah, look, Alistair Crowley was a horrific I never knew. human person. Like he was a horrific. Yeah, human. like I knew he was. Like I knew about like the weird occult stuff. I knew about like the the German stuff. No offense. Um, None taken. I'm also part German. Oh god, everyone's fucking German now. Hello, oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> For those of you who just heard Jake say hail and then uh, Blur came out, uh, we, can't, uh, we can't not play the uncensored version of that. I Thank said you. Hydra. For those who just heard... <laughs> <the Blur came. laughs> um, yeah, I just didn't know he was that crazy. Well, he was crazy, but I didn't know he was like... I mean... People put I've, said, of, I've said worse on this podcast. <laughs> look, people say a lot of shit about... Alice, well, I say people. Jesse says a lot of shit about Alistair Crowley. Have you ever heard about the dude who invented cornflakes? Oh, hold on. Have you ever heard about my pal Jeff Lynch? <laughs> Corn. No, tell me. So, Kellogg's was the dude who invented... No, was it? Was it Kellogg? Yeah, no, Pop it was cuts? Kellogg's. Yeah. It was Clark Kellogg. So, who, I don't know his first name, but Kellogg, Kellogg, it's Kellogg. Kellogg. So, he invented cornflakes as a means to stop people masturbating. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard this. And he had, like, yogurt um, enemas, again, to stop people masturbating and bring down your sex drive. He did some really fucked up shit to stop people having sex. But it only got them all the more randy. <laughs> randy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so question look. time yes we do have a question from our discord so as mentioned before we do have a discord link is in the description below so please feel free to jump in and ask us any questions say hi um yeah so we only had the one question as far as i can see this week i'm just double checking our old ones yeah so we've only had the one question uh, which is what is the funniest moment you've ever had while playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I've had half an hour to think about this and I still haven't thought of anything cool. still haven't thought of anything. Okay. No, probably the, my funniest moment of playing Yu-Gi-Oh that I can think of off the top of my head was uh, when I played Josh at YCS Sydney two years ago? When I was playing... No, three years ago now. Uh, when I was playing like 40 card through together deck. Oh uh, yeah, and you I pulled the Logan. I won the Dyrol and just fucking destroyed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would have he been playing then? It would have been. He's Blue playing Logan. Blue Yes. Yeah. Was that the what? That was that. That was his first YCS, right? I think so. Yeah, I remember that because I think at the start of the day, I I like try to give him a little bit of a pep up, and I was like, "Here, have my ultra trade ins, and I'll take your commons." No, was it? No, Melody. It was one of those like typical Blue Eyes cards. I was like, "Here, I'll give you a rarity upgrade that'll like help you have a great time." That was back when I didn't hate Josh quite say. so much. We just got um, hate. <laughs> um, and yeah, by like round five, I think he'd lost every single round. No, he was like, I played him when I was X2. It was probably round five. So maybe it was after that. Like yeah. after those two wins that like everything fell to shit. Yeah. Yeah, he was not doing well. No. Oh. Things have changed though, which is good for him. But also... Yeah. My, op- my game one <laughs> opening board was uh, Gamma Seal with counter negations, uh, Beast, Barkion, and Outlawed Christia. Yeah, that's not a fun time. No. So, I just realised I haven't really had funny moments playing it. Like, I mean, I've, I've got one now. I, but, like, I had to dig, like, real deep. Which I'm not sure what that says about me. Because, like, like, even like even if I am having fun and stuff, it's not, like, comedic. I know, Jake's... Continue. Oh. We'll see if you're right. Otherwise, like, um... This is the, like, this is the very early days of Scraps. 
I guess Great Chimeras, that was the, the hard to get one out of all those. It was about 10 bucks each for the Supers. So I was waiting on eBay, finally get them, playing them against my mate. Um, scrap Dragon gets destroyed, yeah, back to Scrap Chimera, so you can kind of recycle it and you fuck around. My mate, um, versus him, he just like halfway through goes, oh, I'm sick of this, just bites my card. <laughs> what the fuck? And I was half pissed, half like, wait, did this just happen? Did he just, he just what bit my Scrap Chimera? Which I had waited. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just a good chomp out of him. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, now we can't play. This is, I need this. So like, just like bit into it and bent it? Or like full yep. like bite and rip? No, it didn't rip, but it's bent it. Like. <laughs> what the fuck? That is, yeah, I would be, I don't even know if I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, I would be what the fuck, but I would be like, kind of wondering I'd be just angry like it'd be seething rage like if someone picked up my ulti invocation and went <sighs> I would like they would be dead like but then like I mean but then I mean he I mean he bought me another one like okay so oh that's actually an interesting idea <laughs> start buying Josh's if... commons yes <laughs> yes yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> just <laughs> I, I don't think I'd want to put those sleeves oh, in my game. Yeah, actually, it's a good point. Oh, hold on, yeah. So hang on, we wait until he re-sleeves, so we'll wait until like a tournament. We'll verse him like first and second tournament round. in three years' time. He drops an ash on me and I'll just go, fuck Bye. you. Oh yeah, maybe post-pandemic as well. Oh yeah, true. Stay safe. <laughs> um, <laughs> bite your friends. Don't bite. <laughs> so, I thought I had a funny moment. I know. And then I realised a funnier moment, and it has been recorded. Oh. So, I was playing, I think it was Magnite Orcus, to be honest, um, and I was versing a guy playing Blue Eyes. Um, <laughs> we may even be able to find a link and put it in a description. Oh, somewhere. I could straight out edit this into it right now. <laughs> it's called, yeah. uh, so, What Makes Think Yisu is the video. Yeah, that's the title of the video I'm... Uh, Nolan CCG. Back when I used to creatively name them. Yeah, back when you used to put in just a tiny bit more effort. Yeah. It's a tiny, tiny Got nowhere near as no, many views. Yeah, creative names don't do shit. Nope. <laughs> no, but even then you used to have like the life point counters on the side as well. Yeah, I did. That took so much time. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was doing Orcus Tings and I uh, shuffled my deck after I did a search and I was like, oh, can you cut the deck? Um, so he does the cut. And then proceeds to karate chop my deck. This is hey -ya, hey -ya. yes. This is big. Orcus as well. So and like I've got expensive pre cards in there. Pre -reprint. Ash blossoms. Yeah, pre reprint. So I had ash blossoms like e expensive cards in there. And he legitimately not even like as a joke like love tap it Full like force like karate chop. Literally, the camera shakes. Literally like going through his brown belt like <laughs> brick break fucking karate chop my deck and I don't even know how to respond no, yeah, to yeah, like, yeah, I, was, you, I was just like there is you, like, can, you can kind of tell the air of like that's not fucking like that's like you can you, can, you look stunned yeah, you, like, yeah it's stunned of like he just karate chop your really expensive deck I was like he, he hasn't <laughs> but it's like oh but he, the karate chop is done there's no damage like I'm like that better not have done anything <laughs> and it's just as well it was on my main deck because like it was Ugh. a, it was a Max Rarity Orcus deck so like had had we had to do x travel or something and he karate chopped my fucking ulti Galateas and shit I would have lost my mind um it gets funnier though there is mm -hmm. another moment so same duel same duel I think this is game 2 though yeah um I ended up winning because I I and this is this is something yeah. that like really triggers me I fucking do an excellent move in that I mind control a blue eyes that he has on field I summon Gizmek and use them to hard make Orcus Dingisu. It's a really good play. And then th that ends up winning me the duel. We proceed to um, like start preparing. He checks his top deck, sees a trade in, and says, What the Shrek? Reveals his hand, has another three trade in in it. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the time when this duel finishes, Jake comes up to me and he's like, You won't believe how that match went. I made a Dingisu with a blue eyes. And I was like, that sounds pretty cool. I'm going to title the video What Makes Dingisu. I'm watching it back in replay and I'm like, 
the fuck happened here? <laughs> Look, he won't be upgrading those uh, trade-ins to collectors anytime soon. Falls a bit too many. Well, it is a lot to invest in. <laughs> Point of context, I'm almost certain there was six in that deck. Oof. He had bought two blue eyes cores and then like uh, was like, "Ah, yeah, I'm just gonna put them together." <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's probably the funniest moment for me outside of Yu Gi Oh is um, Yu Gi Oh related, but outside Yu Gi Oh is convincing Logan that spell cards are at four. Oh, <laughs> I've, I've heard about this. I did hear about this. <laughs> Like, was, oh, wasn't there a six samurai joke? Yeah, yeah. Well? So, yeah. So then he's like, so he made a video for either this channel. Or was actually, it was probably before this channel. What was, what was the old one? Yeah, it would have been the old. Wasn't video, Pokey it? Draco? It was maybe it was Pokey Draco. Anyway, he made a video for that one, and where he gets a sentism like a sentism. Oh, I've, a sentism. I am. I'm channeling my 13 year old Logan there. He goes a sentism a four, and just throws it. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, like we had made like a full like proper press release with the rulings. Oh, like, um, <laughs> this is back when you could fuck with I, I, you changed the source on the website, so like had linked him like yeah, that screen cap as well. Um, like had <laughs> knew that he would ask someone else, and they go, "Oh yeah, that's like yeah, that's legit." Like, so we covered all bases. That's sick. That's so good. Oh, Ascentism. If if four. if I knew that he didn't listen to these actively when he was away I'd say do the same thing for a Dynamis Link 1 for Lockwood yeah <laughs> when it comes back this is Dynamis Link 1 news nah he the uh, yeah the other thing is true he has like a um, an entire discord of his minions that he would immediately be able to confirm whether it's true or not you just have to individually message every single person out of discord and be like hey we're gonna do this just go with it yeah, look, I think there would be suspicions on us the minute we enter a, a Dynamis Discord and he sees us there. He's like, what are you doing? Why are you there? Banned. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Block. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's the only questions for this week. Um, if you have any further questions, as I said, please jump in our Discord and ask us or email us at teamcpg at gmail.com. Uh, the four being the number. Um, otherwise, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Bragg, for joining us this evening. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. See you.